Ooh, you're talking about nervous. <laughs> <laughs> In 1955, five young friends from the Washington Heights section of New York went into a recording studio and changed the sound of pop music forever. Led by a 13-year-old singing and dancing dynamo, Frankie Lyman and the teenagers added a rock and roll beat to the doo-wop sound and brought vocal harmony singing into the modern age. Thank God for guys like this because because of guys like this, guys like us today wouldn't be doing what we're doing today. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> the teenager's first record was a spectacular debut. It is one of rock and roll's most unforgettable songs, with Lyman's sweet soprano soaring over the teenager's heartfelt backings and posing one of life's most enduring questions, why do fools fall in love? <laughs> that song was a top 10 smash and was quickly followed by three more top 50 hits that year. I want you to be my girl, I promise to remember, and the ABCs of love, as well as the definitive, excuse me, response to rock and roll's early critics. I'm not a juvenile delinquent. Frankly Lyman's death at the age of 25 in 1968 is one of rock and roll's greatest tragedies. But, their en but the energy and enthusiasm of those early records will live forever. Last December, almost 40 years after the first recording session, a jury ruled that Jimmy Merchant sorry, and Herman Santiago were, along with Lyman, the true authors of Why Do Fools Fall In Love. It was a landmark decision granting Merchant and Santiago and hopefully more early rock and R&B stars to come their proper royalties and respects. And because of that, we can write songs and we can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Though they will always be teenagers in the eyes of the world, they have finally been allowed to make the leap from boys to men. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Jimmy Merchant, Herman Santiago, and accepting for Frankie Lyman, his wife, Amira Lyman, and for Sherman, Sherman Garns, his daughter, Leslie Garn Carlisle, and for Joe Negroni, his daughter, jo Joline Negroni. Good evening. It is with deep humility and extreme pride that I accept this award on behalf of my late husband, Frankie Lyman. What he gave to the world of rock and roll music was unique and legendary. I wish to thank the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Committee and all who made this night possible. I will be forever grateful for this honor. May God bless you and good night. My father, Joe Negroni, the baritone, was a dreamer and a creator and a multi-talented man and a believer. When the rest of us hoped, he knew someday this recognition would come. In his memory and for my brother Lance, who is following in his steps musically, and my sister Darlene, I accept this in my father's honor. I miss you, Dad, and thank you for everything, and thank you, Hall of Fame. Do, 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 do. Wow. Every, every vocal group has a bass, and that was Sherman, he was my father. And everybody um, wants to feel valued, and Oprah says it, so it's true. And this is, a valid, this is a validation that speaks volumes, and 36 years is a long time to have something this nice happen. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. One of the most important things to an artist is to, is to, vote, to be recognized. It's very great to be, it's, it's, it's exciting to be, rec you know, to be recognized and uh, being inducted in the Hall of Fame is just one of the most, the best thrills that I've had in one of my days. 
<laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody for being for having me join the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and uh, I welcome it highly. Thank you. Uh, this is truly, truly an honor. And um, I really didn't have anything planned to say. The group is together today, and uh, Frankie's brothers with the group, Louis Lyman, and uh, Jimmy Castor is performing with us. Jimmy Castor, formerly of uh, uh, the Jimmy Castor Bunch. And Bobby J is singing bass in Sherman's part. Um, uh, he's a New York City CBS. DJ, so we're still performing, but the record that we recorded back in November 1955, um, it took 26 takes to make that uh, song, Why the Fools Fall in Love. When you buy that record, you're buying it live. Um, it could never be repeated, but uh, we thank the boys for uh, honoring the song. And uh, they, I, it's a funny thing, I approached them and asked them uh, uh, did they think it would be a good idea to do the song. And they didn't tell me that they had it planned to do it. But um, like Etta James said, at last, justice at last in terms of our court case that we recently won. And <laughs> thank you. And God, uh, God may delay, but God is always on time. And I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, the superstar of it all. And I'd like to thank our family, our family members. I'd like to thank my best friend, Herman Santiago, for being a loyal, a uh, very loyal friend. And my family and all the great people in the past and in the present and in the future that I truly do love, and especially you folks for honoring Frankie Lyman and the teenagers. Thank you. Thank you.